customer experiences that our software can enable together with your product. So I'd ask you to suspend your disbelief for a moment, pretend that I'm an ad exec, and let me invite you over to my office. Now if you look at my desktop, you can see that Windows Vista offers us an amazing visual experience. If you look over here on the right hand side, there's Windows Sidebar. It has gadgets that are customized based on the information that I want at a glance, and they're dynamically updated. A particular gadget that I'm obsessed with lately since I recently moved to Seattle is this weather gadget. I am hoping for a day without rain, and I'm constantly looking for one. I can take this gadget, drag it out onto my desktop, and look at the forecast. What's incredible is innovation in touch monitor, together with Windows Vista, enable me to interact with my PC in different ways. So I can touch my screen and drag it back to where I want it. Another such marriage of hardware and software innovation is this picture frame. This picture frame is enabled with Windows Slideshow on the Windows Slideshow platform, and it takes content from my PC that I can customize to provide me with at-a-glance information that I value. You can see I have pictures of my kids, I have my Outlook reminders, and I'm constantly updated with what's happening with my IM buddy. Now, as a high-powered executive, I like to start my day and figure out what's going on in the world. And I do that by looking at Internet Explorer. It'll pull up my favorite news site, and I can look at my news site, and I can navigate using the tab. But what's really cool is if I go to Quick Tab, and it gives me a snapshot of each of the home pages of my favorite sites, and I can decide where to go. Right now, I'd like to go to the New York Times. This is great, but let me tell you something that's even better. The New York Times is working and taking advantage of the Windows platform and creating an application and that's the New York Times Reader. And what they've done is they're developing a user interface that's far more like reading a physical paper, but has the benefit of the immediacy of the web. You can see here, what's great is if I resize my window, it automatically resizes the content. Great visual experience. I can go in and I can navigate, look at the information that's interesting to me, Once I'm done with the news, I can shut it down. What I'd like to do is then go into email. If you click to this last email, I see here that I actually have an email from my colleague, Shannon. And he's telling me here that it's a last minute request of a key client that's coming into town tomorrow, and I have to update a presentation to help him out. If you're like me, I access dozens of documents. I look through hundreds of emails and a handful of applications every week. I find it extremely challenging to figure out what I'm looking for and to easily find and use that information, that, that content. When does this that help you out with it? I go here. I know the presentation that I'm looking for has something to do with sales. So if I enter sales, check out my search results. My search results come up with documents, but they also come up with news articles that are related to sales. See here an article with the New York Times. And the search actually extends beyond the desktop. Thanks to Windows, Windows Server Longhorn, it actually searches my network for documents and applications. Now I know this presentation is on this sales server here. So I can go to the server, and I can see here another visual experience where I can look at a glance at the first page of every document. And again, it helps me easily find the content that I'm looking for. I can also, without having to open the document, browse through the content and see whether this is what I'm looking for. And in fact, this is the presentation I'm looking for, so I'll open it. Again, just like Windows Vista, Office 2007 offers an amazing visual experience. We've replaced the taskbar with this ribbon. And what's really cool about this ribbon is that based on what you're doing with your document, it dynamically changes for better discoverability of features. Because how many times have you worked on a Word document, a PowerPoint document, and you're trying to figure out how to insert a page number? You're trying to figure out how to insert a date. When the Office 2007 makes that easier. 
Now, I know in this presentation, I need to update this diagram. I have spent, it's embarrassing, I have spent countless hours trying to create diagrams in PowerPoint, getting the right shape, getting the right color, making sure the fonts look right. PowerPoint 2007 makes it amazingly easy. So I see here that I need a product cycle. PowerPoint offers me a whole host of diagrams that I can automatically use. And I'd like to click this cycle. It provides me the opportunity to enter my text and automatically format that text for me. And I can also format the look of the diagram, the color scheme, click off, and within seconds I have something that looks like a graphic designer created. Now I have one more thing I need to do with this presentation and that's add a slide. As a high-powered executive, I like to do as little work as possible. And I like to leverage the work of others. What's amazing with PowerPoint 2007 and SharePoint Server is that I can go access slide libraries of content that I've created that others have created. I can go in here, click the spot that I want to add the slide, and hit Add Slide. Alternatively, I can go in, hit Add Slide, and say reuse slide. And this accesses my slide library. I'll go in, it opens the presentation that I accessed last. Again, I get great visual cues on the slide within the presentation without actually having to open the presentation itself. Scroll down. This is the slide I want. With one click, it adds the slide and my document is complete. What's amazing also, really cool, is that the owner of this slide, if the owner of this slide ever updates this slide, what will happen is I'll get a notification that will ask me whether I want to apply those updates to manage version control. Now, I see here that Shannon's IMing me. He's about to meet me. He wants to meet me to look at this presentation. So I'll just apply to him. Sure. Okay, so I'm just going to save it to my desktop. As I wait for Shannon, I can use this amazing form factor, and while I'm offline, I can access my New York Times reader. What's great about this is that I can take advantage of the text capabilities and navigate my way through the New York Times Reader. I can click on items, I can scroll back and use gestures, go back and forth throughout the document, and look at the information that's most meaningful to me. And it's an amazingly immersive experience that's much more like reading an actual physical paper. 